Welcome back to our last example of a linear combination spans bases and dimension. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like what I think uh one, two, three, four, five, six videos? Six videos? It's not even six examples. I think it's like seven or eight. I don't know. I can't count. But <laughs> this is our last video before we get on to the next topic or lecture for linear algebra uh it is gonna be actually i haven't really decided what it's gonna be so um i'll figure that out so let's get let's get let's get started with this uh this example this final example so it wants us to find all values of k for which the following set is linearly independent so we have to find, or well, we are given three, three vectors. Um, I mean, they're not named, but <laughs> we are given three vectors. And so now we have to check, or we know that these three vectors are linearly independent because it, it, it wants us to find, or it wants this, this set to be linearly independent from each other. So, if you uh, if you recall, we did in the last video, if you want to make it linearly independent, then we all we pretty much do is put it in augmented matrix, and then solve. Or I mean, yeah, we can put it in augmented matrix, or I mean, we could just put it in a regular matrix as well. And then see what kind of result uh, results matrix we get when we put this in like the row reduced echelon form. And so that's that's what we're gonna do, but uh, we're gonna do it in a reduced echelon form, then it'll take less work. So we're gonna go ahead and write these vectors down into a matrix, and so it's gonna be zero. Not zero. I can't. Oh my gosh. This would be one. <laughs> this would be zero. Two. K. And then our third, second column would be negative one. Zero. K. Two. And lastly, the two, zero, one, one. All right. Cool beans. So, what we want to do now is uh, we could rearrange this a little bit. So I'm going to be switching row 2 and row 4. So now we're going to have 1, K, 2, 0, 0, 0. Negative 1, 2, K, and 2, 1, 1. All right, cool. That's cool. So right off the bat, we have a row of zeros. Which is, which is um, which is pretty nice. Which is uh, that's good. We we want that. So now, what what that means is that the maximum number of pivots that we can have here is three, and that's the number of pivots that we want to look for. Because if you remember the the to know if it's 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 linearly independent. And uh, ah, I can't spell. What is going on? It's linearly independent if the number of pivots equal to the number of columns. And so now we we're just gonna put this in reduce echelon form, and we're just gonna start off with the these the most obvious ones is getting rid of this two and so that would just be um what is it row three minus two row one so that'd be negative one or one negative one two k two one and then the, the, the last row is just gonna be zeros all the way this is gonna be zero and then we have K plus two because it's 
k minus 2 times negative 1. So yeah, k plus 2. And then we'll have 2, 1, yo, 1 minus 2 times 2 is negative 4. Should be negative 3. All right, cool. So now we, we, mm, we now want to get rid of this K and you're, you're probably asking, it's like, yo, how do you, how do I, how do I get rid of this K? Cause I mean, if it's going to be like a, we add or subtract a constant, it's going to be like K plus or minus whatever that constant is, but we can multiply row one by negative K. Yo, <laughs> this is, this is, you can do that. So <clears throat> what you're going to get is you'll get K minus K, which would be zero. And so this entire column will be zeros all the way. And then we'll have two minus K times negative one, which would be K plus two. Lovely. And now we have 2 times negative k plus 1. So that'll be 1 minus 2k. And then the rest is just copy and paste. And so now we can get rid of, same color, this k plus 2 by subtracting the, the, the third and the second. And so now we get one K plus two. So it'll be K plus two minus K minus two, which would be zero, zero. Then two, one minus two K. And then this would be one minus two K minus three. Yo, wait, hold up. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. It would be negative 3 minus 1 plus 2k because you're distributing the negative. So it would be 2k plus 4. All right, cool. And and now we have this in, um, what's that thing called? Reduced echelon form. And so now what we want to do now is because we want, we want the number of pivots to equal 3. So that means this must not be 0 and this must not be 0. And so to find... Um, to, to find what K will be is, well, <laughs> funny enough, we're going to have to say, uh, this equal to zero and this equal to zero. So we're going to have K plus two is equal to zero and two K plus four equal to zero. And we will get that K here will be negative two. And then K will be also negative two. That, that's convenient. And so because K equal negative two, will make um, the this portion, I shouldn't even use a highlight, this portion, different color, oh my gosh, this portion, zero, and this portion, zero, then K has to be any real number such that K is not equal to zero, not zero, two, negative two. And so that, that's, that's pretty much it for this example. If you want to find um, all values, which the set is linearly independent, well, it's any number, <laughs> but, or any number but negative two. And that's, that's it for this example. And so this concludes our linear combination lectures with a ton of examples and yeah, no, I'll see you guys in, in 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 the lecture that will hopefully be out on Sunday, and then from there it's gonna be the same thing with um, the examples happening during the week and weekdays, and we'll, we'll see how many I can pull off here. So yeah, uh, <laughs> it was nice doing these examples. It was a lot, it was a lot of them, but. Uh, hopefully it was it was more than enough for you guys to understand how to do this and so it should be a piece of cake for you guys but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video